Hey guys, today I'm here to do the Soul Train 2014 Awards. Um, it was here in Vegas. I actually enjoyed the awards. And I'm going to tell you why. Because it was in my era. A lot of the music was my era to now. So, I really, really enjoyed the um, awards. It was hosted by Wendy Williams. That's the only thing probably I could have done without. Because she really didn't host. She really didn't interact with everybody. It All that opera shit was stupid to me. But other than that, I liked the awards. Chris Brown opened the award. Did a little medley of his songs that he got out. And um, he did my favorite, one of my favorite songs. Oh, excuse my nails because I'm going to get them done in the morning. Um, but... Chris Brown, Take Me Down song, I love. That's like one of my favorite Chris Brown songs. And I was so happy that he did that. I was so happy. His dancing was on point. His vocals wasn't on point when he first be, um, started. Um, but he got into the groove of things. He was cool. Um, you know, he did New Flame. He did Loyal. You know, the crowd really got pumped up when he got into um, Loyal. Like, Always. That was like a big hit this year. Um, like I said, the opening of Wendy Williams opera thing was stupid to me. Um, best R&B soul was, uh, male was Trey Songs. I thought that was okay, but I'm not into Trey, Trey Songs like that. Song of the year was Pharrell. I thought he deserved it because Happy played everywhere. I don't care where you went, Happy Play. They played that song the day my kids got out of school at the end of the year last year when the parents was picking them up. And I was like, okay, I understand y'all teachers being happy. So that song did real big everywhere. Um, Nico and Vince sung that Am I Wrong. I, I didn't know who sung that song. And I was glad to see who sung that song. They're from Norway, I think they said. I, I enjoyed them. I really did. Um, I enjoyed Cam and Lettucey performance. Um, we Are Tunes. They did the Nene -Nay song. I thought they should have performed for the Hip Hop Awards, not the Soul Train Awards. No shade to them or whatever. Or even performed after Chris Brown because it was like in that era because it just didn't go with performing after Cam and Lettucey. But, hey, I liked it. They played it early enough for my kids to watch it and go to bed afterwards. I was with it. So, hey, I, I'm with the Nene song. I like it. Um, Best collabo was Chris Brown, Loyal. I mean, like I said, he did big year, this year with that song. Um, the Chaka Khan Award. Went to Beyonce. She wasn't there. So, Michelle ended up accepting the award for her. Um, best new artist was Nico and Vince. I can I can see that. Because, like I said, I can I love that song. Um, it play a lot out here. Um, Jodeci. Oh, my God. This is when the awards, to me, got cracking. Um, Jodeci came out. But, Devontae. That... <laughs> I don't even like going in on people, but that ponytail was so wrong. I don't know what he could have did. I don't know if he could have slicked it down, went in. I don't know. He could have cut the shit off. That's pure point blank. He could have came back with the flat top what he had when in the 90s when they was out. I mean, the Devontae was like the favorite, the sexiest one of the group. And then too, for you to come out and look like, mm, mm, mm. Poked out of me. But I'm just saying, he didn't say nothing. I'm just like, mm. But I'm just like, really? Really? I mean, the whole beginning part of it, I was so, like, excited. But then when he came out with that ponytail, I had to put my head down so I didn't pay attention to that part. But then they just started singing all my favorite songs. I was like, oh, my God. This is where babies be made. I'm telling y'all, if y'all don't know nothing about Jodeci, you better YouTube them. I don't know. But Jodeci was like the group in the 90s. And then Casey and JoJo broke off into their own little brother little group. And they was bomb. 
as hell because I've seen them in concert just still and they are really really oh my god talented them boys are talented I was like god damn maybe a couple of therapy works for uh Jojo because he seemed he looked a little sober I don't know if I could see but Jojo looked a little sober a little thin from when he was on couple therapy and but they oh my god I love Jodeci oh my god like every song they can they can sing I love them. Um, after oh, Bob came out with them. I that that could have been left out. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. I'm just glad they sung a song after that. Tanache came out and sung um her little medley of songs, and she did good. She did good. But like I say, it should have been the order of steps in them. It should have been like. Chris Brown, then Tanache, and then the Nene people, and then we can get into the 90s and, you know, 80s music, because it was just like, huh, how do you go from them to them, and then, you know what I'm saying? No change to nobody, but I hope you get what I'm saying. But she did good, her dancing was on point, I like her music, hey, hey, I'm a fan of her music. Um, best hip hop song of the year went to Chris Brown, of course. Like I said, kudos to you, boo. I'm a fan of Chris Brown. I think he do need to get his stuff together. But like I said, his music and his dancing can't nobody take that away from him. Um, Al Allo Black sung um the man and at the beginning, and then they went into um. Love is the answer. They did okay. I like the band. I like how people sing with a band. You know what I'm saying? Not just the DJ all the time or just the music. I just our track or whatever. I like to see people sing with a band because it shows their talent. Um, after that, um, I'm not gonna even lie. I turned the TV. One of the uh, Winans brothers, family, whatever. They were on. I just couldn't get with that song at the beginning, so I ended up clicking off and then clicking back on. And then I clicked right back on just in time to see Stephanie Mills. Oh, my God. See, this is what I'm saying. It was my error. My mom and my auntie and them, all of them played Stephanie Mills, so it made me love Stephanie Mills' music as I got into music. The woman can still sing, got it, picked up a little weight, but hell, she got older. She ain't that little teeny bopper no more but she can still blow this show you can come cover it up and you can still be thick and you can still sing it's your talent that speaks for you and not your assets um then it came to the soul train legend awards and i think this whole soul train legend awards was so well deserved oh my god Cool in the gang. If you don't know about them, I don't know how you don't. Because everybody, and like they showed you, everybody samples Cool in the Gang music. Everybody. I mean, from Lady Gaga to Snoop Dogg to, you know, um, Will Smith. And how you see all the people that perform tonight. How they were just, oh my God, like... I grew up to Cool in the Gang. I mean, Cool in the Gang was shit in my house. My mom had all the albums. I mean, box albums. You know what I'm saying? So, tell y'all, I'm in my 30s. So, I know about this kind of music. And I'm telling you, I was, I had my TV on Sky High. I be so looking forward to the Soul Train Awards because it's my music, my genre of music that I love. Stuff that I grew up to, stuff my mom and them grew up to, and everybody can party as a family. They play stuff my kids listen to. So we all can listen to music as a family. I'm telling y'all, when, when they were doing like Cool in the Gang and Jodeci, my daughter was looking at me like, really? And I was looking at her like, yeah, really? Because y'all was, wasn't saying that when y'all was nay nay and So don't start hating when we over here grooving all of this good Real good music. I mean, this is where y'all getting y'all music from. So, this was real, real good music. I'm telling y'all. 
get in the cool in the game. I hope they need to bring the 90s music back. I don't know if these kids nowadays need to start sampling the 90s music so they can get the 90s music people can get paid. And y'all kids can get paid at the same damn time. But y'all need to, I'm telling you, all these 90s groups need to come out, back on out, because y'all not that old. And um, show these little kids what real music is. And I'm telling y'all, we've been a much better place, I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. But anyway, the tribute started with, um, like I said, uh, Cool in the Game. They have great music like Celebration and... And Jungle Boogie, oh my god, Jungle Boogie is my, get a party started, I'm telling y'all, some of this stuff, I'm telling y'all, I was getting a party started when I was in junior high, and we used to have dances every week, I'm telling y'all, in high school, we used to have dances every Thursday, and these songs will get a dance started, but, um, we had Dougie Fresh come out, we had Tank come out, sing Get Down On It, oh my god, my mom used to play that out. Um, El Garner and MC Light doing Summertime. I used to play that out. Um, Joe and Tamar did Too Hot. Tamar, you be doing a little too much. Calm that shit down. Tamar only do tributes or something. Because you got music out that you can sing. I'm just saying. But, um, and I didn't like the look. Tamar needs to stop letting drag queens. No shade to drag queens. But the drag queens, I like box on drag race. But I don't think Tamar should let them do her styles and her makeup. It just don't. It be just too much, and I don't. It make her not look too appealing. I'm sorry. Her outfits, I I just don't be getting with, and I'd be like, no, I like your outfits more on Instagram than I like uh, what they be doing to you at these award shows. And there's no shade to Tamar because I really like her. I just don't like the way they be styling her. When she have to perform for award shows or present or whatever, I'd be like, no. Even that red carpet outfit was not right. Um, I don't know who the lady's name was. Both of those ladies' names was that did Celebration, but they did a really, really good job. Um, Mace came out and did Bad Boy. I love that song. Mace was the shit when he was out with Bad Boy Records. I ain't gonna lie. Mace was the shit. He, he used to get, he was like the party boy of Bad Boy Records. And he, his album used to have the shit rocking and we used to all party to it. Don't say you didn't. Um, Eric Benet started it oh, with the ending. Eric Benet started off singing Ladies Night, and I was so here for watching him sing Ladies Night. Yes, Eric Benet is sexy as fuck. Um, then, the ending of the night, which I was like, damn, this shit could have started it off. I'm just saying, because these were some baddest bitches in the game, and to me, I love all of them. We had Little Kim, The Brat, Missy Elliott, um, you had Toto. Oh my God! If you I don't know about Toto, y'all better get to know about Toto. They need to really, really come back. Um, Lady of Rage. They had um Yo Yo out there. They had Spinderella on them. Um, DJ Boo. I'm telling y'all. Oh my God! Ladies Night. I used to play my shit out. I used to play Ladies Night out so much that I end up having two like two CDs of ladies night like if if you was a female growing up in the 90s and you didn't play ladies night something the fuck was wrong if you wasn't a fan of any of these women something was wrong because those were talented women all of them you can't say nobody wasn't talented that they showed on that damn stage tonight Oh my God, I was so loving how they did let left side part be left out, left as a left side part. Just played the video and played her and didn't bring somebody out, little mama. I'm just saying, like, no. I loved how they left left side up in that and that just made it all more special for me growing up in that era. And to see all those ladies still got it. Still got it. Like, that's... 
only person you saw real, real sexy was Lil Kim, but Lil Kim was came out being sexy, so there was nothing to that. But all those women were talented. Oh my God, the brat is a beast on the mic. Oh my God, I love me some brat. Oh my God, like I love female female artists that don't have to expose themselves and they talent speak for them. So I love the Soul Train Awards. I love it. That's why I do the review for Soul Train Awards because like I said it's in my era of music. It be really good. It gets you to partying. You don't be sitting there saying, huh? Huh? Who? What? No, you it just be a whole big party. So that's why I like the Soul Train Awards. Um, I'm gonna try to go next year since it's been in Vegas. This year when they filmed it, I was in California, so I was like, oh man. But um, yeah, tell me what you guys thought about it. What were your favorite parts? My favorite parts were Jodeci and the uh, Cool in the Gang um, performance. I mean, you know, all the performance from the Cool in the Gang Legends Award celebration. My my all time favorite ladies night. I love that song. I love those women. It was unity on the stage. I'm all for it. So like I said, tell me your favorite part. Tell me what you did, what you didn't like. Did you care about it? Whatever. Did you watch it? I don't know. Um, but follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, Xbox Live. Um, everything on social media that I do. Is by the ghetto view. So if you on any other sites and you type in my name, because I can't even think about the social media sites right now. But I do everything by the ghetto view. T H A not T H E. And I'll talk to you guys later. Make sure you check out Mike B, Ashley Miller. Um, I'm not sure who doing soul training music reviews. Um, but check out those YouTubers, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.